Good afternoon, and welcome to this week's Be Mindful With Me. We're tuning in once again at the Casa de la Chloe, and I'm sitting out here on my bench in my backyard. I don't know if you can see it, but just enjoying the day. As as always, we're going to start with just a little breathing technique to try and Come in and be present in this space for the next 20-ish minutes. So we're just going to get comfortable. I'm going to move a little bit so that my shoulders aren't as tight. Oops. (laughs) A little too relaxed. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to just breathe in and out. When I'm breathing out, I'm almost like visualizing just water rolling down off of me and cleansing me of any kind of anxieties that I am having. I'm just going to be present in this moment. I'm listening to the sounds around me. I can't hear cars because I don't live far from a pretty busy road, but I'm also hearing it's springtime and I'm hearing a lot of birds that are chirping. And those birds are bringing me close to home and helping me think of what I can do to make their lives more enriched. They enrich my lives with their beautiful song and All right, so welcome back, everybody. Here's Bumble. She's here with me today, checking in and saying hi. So, we are going to be talking this week about how we can, Bumble, how we can be present in our yards. What can we do out here to try and find beauty and peace? So, I'm going to see if I can switch my camera view which I don't think that I can, which is silly. So I'm going to have to flip this around and probably have some really terrible camera views. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional with this stuff. Um, But I want to show you guys my yard and kind of just take you a little, take you on a little tour to show you things that you can try and do at your place to try and um, try and better this planet because we can't do all the things that we do without this planet, right? It's pretty much the coolest planet in the solar system since it's the only one that we can actually inhabit without fancy breathing apparatuses and everything else. So I want us to be mindful this week of the Earth in light that this Wednesday is Earth Day. There's very many things you can do at your own home to try and make the Earth a better place. Um, I started riding my bike to work or to the grocery store if I can. Obviously when I'm getting flour and things like that, I'm not gonna be riding a bike because it's not very safe to ride a bike with a really heavy bicycle. But I want you to try and think of things that you can do this week that are gonna be better for your earth, better for this planet. So can you ride a bike? If you can't ride a bike or you don't own a bike, can you walk somewhere instead of driving a car? Like, what can you do to try and reduce your carbon footprint? Do you maybe have a skateboard that you use to ride? Do you maybe have some roller blades? I don't know. Try and think outside the box and think of a new way that you can get around, since obviously you're not going to be able to carpool with friends and things like that right now. So as I listen to all these birds, I'm thinking of all the little creatures that live in this area. And as I'm looking around at my beautiful garden, well, here, let me show you. So I've got all these beautiful azaleas. And here's my raised bed that Bumble and I have worked tirelessly on. I've got my kale growing there, which Bumble loves to eat kale as well. And I just planted, which I need to water, it's looking like, some spinach. And you can see my compost pile over here. 
maybe you can start a compost pile. I put all my food waste in that and my little worms absolutely love it. They go bonkers over it. And it's really easy to make a composting container. All I did to make this is I just found some old chicken wire that my parents had laying around. I found two old posts and I stapled those together to keep any kind of um, any animals that might get in there. Like, I don't know, Bumble, since she loves to eat as she's digging around for stuff over here right now. Um, also raccoons and things like that can get in here. But you can see that a lot of that food waste is just breaking down all its own. I do water it time to time when it gets really dry. But yeah, it, it does great for the soil. Um, and then we can see I've got these beautiful lilacs here. So, oh, and I'm smelling them. Always take time to smell the flowers, right? So with this lilac bush here, um, it's great for pollinators, bees. Why are bees important in this world? Um, without bees, we die. I learned that in college in a pest plagues and politics class. Thank you, Oregon State. But um, bees are very, very, very important. Apis mellifera, the honeybee. If we do not have them, we do not survive because what do we do as producer or as consumers? We consume, so we have to eat, right? And the bees make it so that we can have food to eat, right? Um, so maybe you can, for Earth Day, throw down some seeds that bees would like. Um, there's wildflower mixes and things like that that are relatively cheap at your local Buy Mart or I don't know where else I usually go to Bymart because it's locally owned. Not being sponsored by Bymart in this ad, but uh, yeah. So think of things that you can do. Um, maybe some violas like I have over here in this little pot. Um, yeah, so maybe you can plant some seeds. Do something that's going to be what you want to do, right? As I've already stated, I really love to listen to the birds chirping. So I thought... How cool would it be to bring back my old childhood roots? In third grade, we had a project in class where we made bird feeders out of very simple, very cheap ingredients. All you have to do is get a pine cone, some peanut butter, which most people have, and if you're allergic to peanuts, which I know some people are, your cashew butter or whatever nut alternative would work just fine. And then you need some bird seed. And if you don't have any bird seeds, maybe you have sunflower seeds or something of that nature. Birds love seeds, right? So I am going to show you how to quickly, easily, cheaply make a bird feeder so that you can sit and enjoy your birds. So we're going to take it back inside. I'm going to grab my shoes. And I apologize once again for this terrible video footage because you can't switch the camera view. And the... Things are gonna change around. Come on, Bumble. We're coming inside. Come on. All right, so back in the Casa de Chloe, we are gonna learn how to make a bird feeder for cheap and easy, and anybody can do it. So, without further ado, let's make a bird feeder. As I said, all you really need is a pine cone and a few other things. So, hold, stay tuned as I leave this pine cone and go get some peanut butter over in my pantry. And then you're also gonna need some bird seed or like I said, some nuts, which I'm also gonna grab from my pantry. Mom will probably think she's getting a treat, so I'm going to give her a treat. But she's spoiled. Here. All right, and birdseed. A few weekends back, I made a nifty little bird feeder. If you guys ever want the um, dimensions or how to make it super easy, all you need is an old bottle. Um, upscaled, right? An old dish that you don't use and a couple pieces of wood, make some cuts, and then you just hang it. 
I had an old chain that I used from an old lamp that I wasn't going to use anymore. So try and find ways that you can make things cheaply with just reusing things that you already have, right? So we've got our pine cone, we've got our peanut butter, and we've got our seeds. So now let's make, make a bird feeder. I'm just grabbing a knife and a dish to put my peanut butter on. Really, really easy. I'm not even going to give you measurements because I really don't think it's necessary. So you take your peanut butter. I'm not going to take a lot because I love peanut butter and I don't want to waste it. So I'm just taking, I don't know, it's maybe like a tablespoon and a half. And all you do is you just rub it on your pine cone. And the point of putting the peanut butter on is that it makes it sticky, right? Because how else is the seed going to adhere to a pine cone? It's probably not unless you have super glue and super glue is not edible for a bird. Um, contrary to popular belief, it will probably kill them. And I don't think they'd really eat at your bird feeder. And I tell you, it is very rewarding for me to see my little finches and my house sparrows come to that bird feeder every morning. I love having my, my morning tea with them. I think it's really, really neat. Oh, uh, looks like I need a little more peanut butter. <clears throat> All right, we have now put lots of peanut butter, um, or whichever alternative that you're using. Mmm, delicious. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands because they're all sticky. our bird feed seed. Super simple. What we're going to do is dump it all over this pine cone that's now covered in It's like a little bird popsicle. Mmm. There we go. And so a bunch of them fell down, so I'm just going to kind of swirl this around up a little more. And voila! You now have... Oh, you might want to... It's, it's messy project, so maybe put some stuff down, but... Oh, and that's another thing too. This might not be the best project if you have cats, Thankfully, I only have a bumble, and she does not give two snaps about birds. Um, but if I had a cat, and it was Earth Day, and I made a bird feeder like this, it'd be kind of messed up, because you're more feeding your cat than helping the Earth. So be mindful, right? That's why we're doing this, is being mindful of what we can do for the planet, um, what we can do for ourselves to support the planet, <coughs> since it supports us. All right. So now you need something to attach your bird feeder. I've been thinking about this for a while. And yeah, you could go buy some string from the store, but the whole point about Earth Day is that we're thinking of ways that we can reduce, reuse, and recycle, right? I, whenever I go to the store and get my produce, uh, you always have, they always, almost always put rubber bands on your produce. So I always save them right here, and all I'm, I was thinking this could be a perfect way for me to get rid of this rubber band, because I don't use them all. Um, so think of a thing, think of something that you can do that's gonna, you know, like, look around your house. What do you have that you could use? Do you have old twine? Do you have old string? How can you tie it up? Um, but try and think of a way you can do it so that you're not buying something. Like, you don't have to go to the store and buy a string. Um, just think of something different. So, now, let's go put this on a tree. I have just the perfect tree. 
to do that with. And look how good that looks. Mm, I want to eat that right now. Come on, Bumble. All right. Bumble's trying to eat it. This is not for you. This is for the birds, Bumble. All right, so I have this beautiful lilac tree, and in the morning I see chickadees up there, and I don't know if they just don't know about my bird feeder out front, but I figured might as well put another one up, right? So I've already got my rubber band on here. I'm just going to put it on an area where they can get to that's high up. And there we go. Bird feeder installed. And tomorrow I get to come out here and try and see if I can see any birds eating on that. How cool would that be? And you know, don't be frustrated if on the first day you don't see birds at your bird feeder. Cause sometimes it takes them a while to figure it out. Just like a restaurant, right? Like it's not like as soon as, come on bums, it opens up. That the bird that people know about it it takes a little bit of time for things to grasp and figure out where things are so might take a week before you start getting some high high amounts of birds but just be patient with it and know that they will come this might take a little bit so that's really all i had this week for us was to think of ways to be mindful so i want you to try and Think of a way, maybe you can start a compost. Maybe you can do all these other things. Um, but just think of what you can do, right? For your earth. Um, ride your bike, walk around. <sighs> and I hope that if you guys do have cats, you're not making bird feeders, that your cats can go get a free lunch from, because that's not the point of Earth Day, right? So thank you so much for being mindful with me this week. I hope that we see you next week. Let us know what you're doing for Earth Day. Show us our, all your fun things that are going on. And I do want to end, as I always do, with the rest of the wacky holidays that are coming on this week. Because you know how I love to celebrate. So, on Wednesday is going to be the first up-and-coming exciting day that we have. Obviously, it's Earth Day. We just made a bird feeder for Earth Day. It's also... <clears throat> Go to the store and get all that cheap Easter candy. National Jelly Bean Day on Wednesday. So what can you do with some jelly beans? I would love to see what you got for that. Um, this Thursday, day that holds much light and heart for me, is National Zucchini Bread Day. I love zucchini bread. If you have not had zucchini bread, you need to make some on National Zucchini Bread Day because it's very good. There's this one recipe online, Google cheesy garlic zucchini bread. If you like cheese, which who doesn't, even if you're lactose intolerant, take a lactate, it's worth it. Um, and if you like garlic, this is the best bread ever with some fresh caught crab on there. Oh, it's amazing. So yeah, check that out. Make some, some zucchini bread for National Zucchini Bread Day this Thursday. And it's also National Take a Chance Day on Thursday. So if you haven't had zucchini bread, I think you should probably take the chance and make some. Or have your mom make some, or whoever, if you're a terrible cook. But if you're a terrible cook, you should probably try to do it anyway, because it's really not that hard to make zucchini bread. Zucchini bread is also very good too. Anyway, I'm going to let you go, because I know we're wrapping up on 20 minutes. Let's be mindful together. Show me what you're doing to have fun, to enjoy the day. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks, y'all. Have a great one. Be mindful.